Hi, it's Penny here, and today we're going to be putting together my February TBR. So as usual, I am going to use my TBR machine website that I made that spits out random reading prompts to pick some books off my physical TBR shelf. So these are the books that I own that I haven't read. There's a few other series ones up here and down here, but mostly these books I don't own blocking those ones. So it's mainly this shelf we're picking from. I've been trying to get to TBR Zero. I did get really close and then I went to a book fair. So we're not quite there, but I'm fairly happy with my progress. I do also have a few series that I want to make some progress on in the month of February. So I'm going to try and fit those into the prompts. Uh, if not, I'll probably read them anyway. Uh, and I'll probably also have a bunch of audiobooks, which we'll get to next. Oh, one other thing I should mention is that last year I made up this whole points system where I could read books to earn buying books. And I think I want to reinstate that, but like I haven't been organized enough to think about that yet. So we'll see. All right, let us pick the first prompt. Read a book written by multiple authors. I wonder if there is any on this shelf. So I think the only thing I can do actually is this Dragon of Pern book, uh, Dragon Harper, written by Anne and Todd McCaffrey. Todd McCaffrey being Anne McCaffrey's son. Anne McCaffrey was the original author of the series and then Todd McCaffrey kind of continued it on for a little while. I do think he's finished now and I will admit this is a series where I think this would be like book 20 or something. It's a massive series and I kind of decided that I wasn't going to make myself read the whole series anymore but I do have some of the books on my shelves so maybe I'll just read those ones. So this follows like a world where every few hundreds of years this other planet will come nearby and this thread will fall from the sky and destroy anything it touches. However they have dragons which are able to burn this thread from the sky. Although I think this is set like well after they've kind of sorted out a lot of those problems. I could be wrong. Um, you don't really have to read these in order because they do jump around a lot in time. Although sometimes they are interrelated stories, so I would prefer to read them in order, but if I'm not reading all of them, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I do think of the ones I own, this is the earliest in the series. I don't know if I would recommend this series anymore because it is quite an older fantasy book. Some of the approaches to certain themes are probably not the best, but it's a series that I really loved and it does have some good ideas in it. Also, Anne McCaffrey uh, is an author that Brandon Sanderson has said is a big inspiration for him. So. Okay, we'll read another book in the Dragons of Pan series. Okay, second prompt. Read the shortest book on your TBR. I like this prompt. I am in the mood for some short books. You know, the start of the year, early progress on my goals kind of thing. Uh, but what is it? It is probably one of these books. Okay, so the shortest book on my TBR. I didn't read the name and it's in Maori, so that's going to be a challenge. Uh, the shortest, also the title is actually quite hard to read because it's all dark dark font on a dark background. Te Heakai Tangata, the Tanifa of Tuara Rangaia. I don't know. It's a Maori myth inspired YA, maybe middle grade fantasy that I picked up from Huia Publishers. I just kind of like these mythology based ones. Looks like it's just a story about a Tanifa constantly outsmarting some people. So it should be a fun and easy read. Okay, then finally prompt number three we have Read the book that has been on your TBR the longest. Hmm. I bought all of these ones at the book fair recently, so it's it's none of these. It's going to be in the stack over here. Oh no. I didn't really want to read this book this month. I thought about putting it with these other series books and I thought, no, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Hmm. So the book on my shelves that has been on my TBR the longest is this. The Gathering Storm by Kate Elliott. Uh, this is the fifth book in the Crown of Stars series, which is a seven book series that I've been reading. I've actually read 110 pages of this before, but I know it's really slow going. I actually do think uh, because this book is divided into books or parts, uh, maybe I'll just read the next part. Like, Reading to the end of part two would still be reading another 400 pages. So maybe that's the challenge that we could take on February. Because I don't, I don't think I can read this whole book. Even though I love this series, it's kind of like Game of Thrones. We've got a bunch of people fighting for the throne, but we've also got these dragon people. They're not really dragons, but we've got these, well, we've got several other kinds of people attacking. Also like some kind of 
demon world, other world kind of thing going on. I do like this series, I want to continue it, but I just find the writing style is really dense and I don't get through it quickly. But I guess we're gonna try this one. And the problem is that I haven't managed to fit any of these into these prompts. So let's talk about the other series that I was hoping to make progress on in February. Uh, firstly, The Path of Daggers, which is the eighth book in The Wheel of Time. It is a shorter one. And I said in 2023 that I'm going to try going back to reading The Wheel of Time physically to see if I can be more interested in the series that way because the audiobooks, I've just been listening to them and struggling to pay attention. So I'm going to try and get back into it this way. I don't, honestly, what's happening? Time is kind of circular. There's a bunch of guys going around trying to do something. A bunch of women fighting for leadership of this magical group because of the women are the ones with the magical powers, except now some of the men do. I don't know. I'll try it. I feel like everyone's going to tell me I should DNF this series, but I just want to get to the books written by Brandon Sanderson up here. Anyway, that's on the pile. Then as well, I have The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. So this is the first book in the first Law series. I was avoiding starting any new series. However, Becca and the Books Catch Up Book Club is reading the first Law series and I kind of feel like I'd like to try reading a book series with one of these book clubs and this is a series I was interested in. I do have the second book, I think. Is it the second book? Anyway, I have one of the books from the series on my TBR, so reading this will help me get to this. So I'm gonna read this. I don't really know much about it other than it's like a grimdark series. We've got a bunch of characters who are not very nice people. Oh, that one I've got's the third book in the series. Anyway, I've kind of forgotten what this is about, but I know I was interested in reading it, so we're gonna give it a go as well. And then the last series book that I wanted to read is actually a reread. Uh, I wanted to go and read through a lot of the Cosmere books again because I feel like even though I've read Elantris and Mistborn and a lot of the Stormlight Archives, I kind of want to go through and take better notes so that I understand a lot more of the details because I feel like a lot of the details of the world I haven't paid attention to and now they're becoming more relevant in the Cosmere. So I've decided to do a reread in February. I'm going to reread Elantris. I do really like Elantris. It's kind of like a fantasy zombie novel where once upon a time Elantris was this beautiful city with these godlike people but one day they changed and instead of people becoming blessed and being bright and radiant they became cursed and became like they were dead but still alive. Uh, I think my favorite part about the way it works is that if you get hurt that that hurt like if you stub your toe your stubbed toe will just hurt forever you'll never die the pain will never go away so over time all these pains kind of build up and your skin goes all mottled and funny so uh what the people in this world do is they just stick anyone with this problem into the city of Elandris and like quarantine them so we're following um a man who's just become cursed and thrown into the city of Elantris. We're also following a priest. Excuse me, birds. What are you doing? We're having some kind of dance excitement thing in the trees. I don't know if the birds are very excited about this book, maybe. Uh, so <laughs> we're following a man who's just been cursed, thrown into Elantris, also a priest who's up to no good, and also a princess who's come from a neighboring kingdom to marry the prince. I know a lot of people say that this is Brandon Sanderson's first book and it's not as good, but I actually really like it, so I'm looking forward to my reread. But what I'm not looking forward to is how big the stack seems to have gotten. Uh, these are all books that I do want to read, but do I want to read them all in the month of February? Now, February is a shorter month, but also I'm not working. But also I'm trying to sort out my house and declutter it and fix it up so potentially I can move. Like, I'm not short of things to do, but like, I do want to make this my year of reading, so We'll try, I guess. I do also have a bunch of audiobooks. I always need some audiobooks to listen to whenever I go out for walks and stuff. Uh, so let me tell you about what other audiobooks I have. Flippy will load. Oh yeah, so I really need to sort out my whole queue in Libby because I used to always have like a decent whole queue and I'd always have good audiobooks coming through. Uh, not to say that the books I'm gonna go through now aren't good, but I was limited to books that are available at my library at the moment because I've got a bunch of holds but a lot of them aren't going to come through for a long time so I need to get like a more constant queue going even though sometimes that goes wrong and they all come through at once but anyway I need to sort it out but 
the ones I have. Firstly, I got Exit West by Mersin Hamid. I've forgotten what this is about, but I know I wanted to read it. So it looks like it's a tragic love story of this couple as their city is falling apart. I know a lot of people have talked about it having a really massive emotional impact, and I think that's why I wanted to read it. I don't know, this is one I've had on my TBR for a long time, so it'll be good to get to it. It's only five hours long, so it'll also be quick. Maybe I can read the whole thing on one walk if I go for a long walk. Then I've also got My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I don't know what this one is about, but Stephen Graham Jones writes a lot of horror stuff. I didn't actually like the other book I read by him, but I thought I'd give him a second chance since I know a lot of people talk about this one as being good. I think also a lot of people didn't like it, but whatever. I needed some audiobooks, okay? Then also I'm hoping in February that my hold on Babel will come through. Uh, this is by Arif Kwang. It's a story, like a dark academia story. To be honest, I wasn't that interested in reading it because even though I did like the beginning of the Poppy War, I didn't really like the ending, and then I found the next book incredibly boring, and so I never finished the series. So I was kind of like, I just don't think her writing is for me, I won't pick up anything else by her, and I wasn't going to pick up Babel. Then I saw all those white women complaining about like, I don't feel like I can have an opinion on this book because I'm white, and like having big cries about it, and I just, it made me really interested <laughs> to read it. So. I'm gonna read it, see what I think. Uh, as well, I also have an ebook. I don't often read ebooks. However, my library doesn't have the audiobook of this one, and I really want to read it. It's a new release, Nine Lives by Maureen Johnson. It is the fifth book in the Truly Devious series. I think in this one, Stevie's gonna be going back to her boarding school and solving another mystery. This is just a series that I've always found a lot of fun, like a YA mystery thriller kind of series. In the first trilogy, she solved a historical and also a new crime happening at her boarding school. Uh, the fourth book, she went away to the summer camp and solved a crime. I don't know what's going to be happening when she goes back to her school now. Is that what she's even doing? Actually, I think she might be going to the UK to see her boyfriend at his school. Anyway, I just find these books a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to reading that too. I'm kind of hoping my library will get the audiobook so I can listen to the audiobook because I really liked the audiobook versions of these stories, but if I can't get it, I guess I'll read the ebook. Honestly, I thought I had some more audiobooks, but that seems to be all we've got on the list, so I will need to find some more because that is not enough to give me something to listen to on all my walks for the month of February. Alright, so that's my TBR for February. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you think I'm going to enjoy them, and also let me know what are some books you're excited to be reading in February. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well, and I will see you next time.